Hello. I want to ask you a question. What do you do with leftover mashed potatoes? Well, what we do around our house is make potato cakes. It's something that my mother taught me many years ago. Oh yeah, really about 60 years ago. So what I have here is some leftover mashed potatoes, about two cups. And I'm going to just smash that around a little bit and make it a little bit ready to be stirred up with some other ingredients. And to that, I'm going to add two eggs. I might decide to add a third egg. We're going to see how this goes. And so I'm going to stir that around. It's really a simple process and something that my family has loved for years. My husband and our sons and other extended family members have enjoyed these with us. And grandchildren. Oh, I have some grandchildren who love these mashed potatoes. My pan is here heating up and I'm going to, I have some, uh, I have some olive oil in there, but I'm going to add some butter to that because butter is what we want for our potato cakes. It not only adds wonderful buttery flavor, it also helps them to brown nicely. And we want that. Now, to my potato and egg mixture, I'm going to add a little bit of flour. I'm using self-rising flour. That tends to help make the potato cakes a little fluffier because they kind of rise a little bit. Some people will use plain flour. And it helps just to give them body as well. Do you hear my butter sizzling in the pan there? I'm going to turn that down just a little bit till I'm actually ready to put a potato cake in there. Now I have a little dish here and I'm going to put some flour in that because I'm going to dredge my potatoes in that. Let me spread this butter and oil around a little bit in the pan. It is ready. It is so ready. So I'm going to take a spoonful, about a quarter of a cup, and lay it right here in my flour. And I'm going to pat it down a little bit, cover it with a little bit more flour, and then pick it up, knock a little bit of the flour off, and now I'm going to put it into my hot butter. And I'm going to repeat that until I have used all my potatoes that I have left over. Unless you want to use some of those potatoes for something else. That's fine. And if you have someone who does not eat wheat, you can just do this exact same thing without the flour. You really can. So, let's continue doing this. If you have something special that you like to do with leftover mashed potatoes, I'd love for you to tell us about it in the comments section of this video. Now I have that first one I put in, I believe is just about ready to turn over. Let's see what happens here. You have to be careful putting these in there. That is hot grease and you do not want to let your finger touch it. So, you know what? I forgot to put salt and pepper in my mixture, so I'm going to do a little bit now. Now, when I first made the mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving, I uh, 
already had some salt and pepper in it. So that, of course, is always to taste. Let's see what if this potato cake is ready to turn here. Can you see that? Mm, it feels like it's your oh golden brown. Isn't that beautiful? I will sh I will move the camera to show you a better picture of that here in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna put one more in there. Wow. I'm at it here. Notice I'm not real precise with this, and you certainly don't have to be. It's one of those old-timey things that we like to do, like Mama used to do. And you know, I think that she learned this from, probably from her aunt who raised her after her mother died when she was nine years old. Let me let you get a good look of this sizzling in the pan here. How does that look? Mmm.